Hey everybody, so this is my residential sump system. So here is the sump pit, and I've got two sump pumps. One is on the uh, floor of the sump pit, which is the main pump. The other one is on top of a cinder block, so it is higher up off the uh, floor of the sump pit, so that will come on as a backup if this one doesn't work for whatever reason. So that one's marked backup. So you got two sump pumps into two sump lines and each sump line has a section there of clear PVC. So it acts as a sight glass. It goes into two check valves and then two lines that go out of the house. So each on their own line. Now each sump pump is powered by a UPS. So the UPS is the battery backup for each sump pump. So these will operate even uh, if your main power goes out. And each UPS goes into its own dedicated circuit that go back to the electrical panel uh, on 15 amp breakers. And uh, you've got some electrical reliability there. And then at the back here, we've got an emergency kit. So at the very back, uh, you could see two sections of inch and a half ABS pipe along with an extra brand new sump pump, which is the same model as the ones currently installed. And then a little kit at the back that contains everything you would need to install another sump pump for whatever reason in an emergency. Uh, you've got a elbow, a threaded fitting, a union, a uh, universal coupling, a check valve, some yellow ABS glue and a pipe cutter. So everything you can need to install this stuff in a pinch. Then you've got this fill system, this uh, half inch PEX pipe here that goes into a bulkhead at the top of the, uh, the uh, sump pit lid. And uh, this is used to test your sump pumps. So what you can do is you can turn it on. You can turn on, there's a section in here between the two ball valves just to ensure more protection against vapor contamination. And uh, you can turn it on and inject water into the pit. So you can confirm that your pumps turn on at the correct levels and that they evacuate the water as intended. That's the whole point of that. Um, then, as you can see, the pit is lit up. So here in the pit, we've got a clear lid. So the lid is half inch thick acrylic glass um, and it's been completely sealed for radon protection so no radon can get in. Um, you have threaded bulkheads that go through it for the pipes so it's actually two separate pipes one section up here and one section in there. Um, same with the fill valve that's a bulkhead there and it's sealed as well as the electrical cables that are sealed there and uh, as you can see, it's lit up, so that's a custom LED light strip that goes all the way around on the ceiling of the sump pit basin, and um, it's controlled by or powered by an AC adapter that attaches to the back of the second UPS there, and that is controlled by the switch. So you can see right here, you can turn it off when you don't need it. And... There you go, that's basically it. You have a good view of what's going on inside your sump pit. And you never have to leave it uh, to guesswork to see if your sump uh, pumps are working in a pinch, in a storm, in weird weather, in a power outage, whatever you may encounter. Might seem excessive, but if you wanna protect stuff in your basement, I believe this is what people need to have some peace of mind. So thank you very much.